Thomas Harding, go ahead, start us off. Okay, buddy. Um, McMahon gets you back in the game with a home run. I know that you've seen had not pitched in a while. Um, what did you see out of him? Well, we made a couple plays. <clears throat> Uh, well, the, uh, the first guy hit the bag on the grounder. Uh, that was about break. And the ill-advised walk to Quinn, uh, sack bunt, uh, good play by Diaz, a stolen base uh, attempt, great play by Diaz, a great throw, good tag by Mac. Ill-advised walk to McCutcheon, uh, got ahead of got ahead of Hoskins with a uh, first pitch fastball. Then it looked like he located a fastball. I got looked at it on video. Uh, it looked like it was down in the down in the corner, down the way, or down the middle. Then he somehow he lofted it and hit it out of the park. So uh, probably the ball strike ratio not great. Obviously, uh, when you look at uh, Chuck Sheen's outing, but his stuff was good. Uh, competed hard. You know, a couple bad walks uh, came back to bite us. What did you see out of uh, Diaz, a guy who? had not played it since last Saturday, really. And I know he had been working on some things. Um, decent night offensively and also an impact night defensively. Well, remember, we, had, we didn't play two of the games, and then Don played both games against the Astros, and then he played last night. So, uh, yeah, it's been the end of played in three games. So, uh, you know, defensively, he looked great, I thought. You know, caught well, blocked well, threw well. Uh, you know, it was good to see him get a base hit for sure to lift the spirits. Uh, you know, he's going to hit much better than what it shows now statistically. For all, I thought he, I thought he had a, a good game behind the plate, uh, made some, you know, really good plays. Uh, and I do think the bat's going to come eventually. And, and, and last one for me, um, Senzatella, it looked like there were some pitches that he didn't get and that may have affected his location for, especially in that third inning. Um, what did you see out of his pitching? And um, is it fair to say that, th that that calls he didn't get kind of affected the next pitches of where he could locate? Well, you know, a certain certain you know certain calls swing the count for sure. But uh, this is baseball, and you got to absorb uh, certain things and and get through it. You know, tonight uh, there were some uh, you know there were some. You know, from Sense's point of view, again, I got to look at the, you know, I got to look, look at the game on TV to see exactly where some of these pitches were. But you could tell by Sense's reaction that, uh, you know, he thought maybe they were strikes. But you got to absorb that. You really do. And you got to come back and make pitches to get guys out. And, uh, you know, what happened tonight was, you know, Hoskins uh, had the two run homer off him. Uh, they, you know, they bunched some hits together uh, and scored the four runs. But, I thought his stump was good. I thought the fastball had velocity. I thought he threw some really good sliders, mixed in some change-ups. Um, a couple of curveballs came later in the outing, but, you know, five innings, four runs, uh, you know, not, not the expectation for Antonio. But, uh, you know, again, they, you got to give them credit for, you know, hitting the ball out of the park a couple times and putting some at-bats together. Thanks, buddy. Patrick Saunders. Yeah, buddy, to follow up on top of do you think for a lot of pitchers, however, if they feel they're getting squeezed a little bit, for lack of a better term, is the natural tendency to maybe pitch to too much of the plate after that? And in this instance, could that have affected Antonio in that third inning? No, you can't. No, just because maybe a borderline pitch is not called, you just, you just don't throw the ball. Uh, you know, to the middle part of the plate or, or the thirds, you got to continue to make pitches. I mean, we're, you know, we're major league, we're major league pitchers here and you got to continue to execute your pitches. So you shouldn't let that affect the next pitch. Uh, you just got to keep, you got to keep uh, to the game plan. You got to try to execute your pitches and you can't let that bother you. And I, I really don't think it bothered Antonio. I really don't. Just that you know, you know they're kind of squared some balls up against them. I don't think it affected his outing mentally or physically. Patrick, anything else? Now oh, we got Owen Perkins. Owen, go ahead. 
Yeah, buddy, I just wanted to ask you, we talked about defense before the game, but can, um, your response to that highlight play from McMahon at third base um, on, down the line, that liner? That was a good play. Uh, you know, obviously that's a reactionary play, ball off the bat. Uh, you read, I mean, you're anticipating uh, every pitch, uh, no matter where you're playing, what position, you're anticipating every ball is going to be hit to you. Uh, in that case, it was a you start hooking line drive, and, you know, Mac got, got a great jump on the ball and made a great play. So, uh, again, I think Mac is a, a solid defender. Uh, you know, on a scouting scale, I'd give him a, above average. And I think he's getting better, too. All right, thanks. All right, we'll go to Noah. Noah, go ahead. Hey, bud. Um, out of the other two relievers at the end of the game, Kinley and Sheffield, that we haven't seen in a while, what did you like and what do you think they need to improve on going forward? Well, I, you know, I think, that, you know, they were fresh, so their stuff was solid. You know, they had, you know, many days off, so their arm was fresh. Uh, so the velocity was there with both guys. You know, I think with with Tyler, you know, we got we just got to continue to work on smoothing out his throwing mechanics. Uh, you know, getting him to the point where within his delivery he stays within himself and, and is able to you know throw strikes because of stuff plays. You know, the fastball has got velocity. Uh, the slider has great late late break. Uh, the changeup's developing, so we got to get him more in the strike zone. To get it, to get him in more favorable counts, uh, you know there are some deep counts there. I think every uh, he's got you know a three ball count, a couple three two counts. Uh, you know the you know Elias made a great play on the on the pickoff to get Hoskins, but uh, you know his stuff was solid. We just got to get him more consistently in the strike zone. And with uh, Shelf again, I mean uh, you know that's probably the best fastball velocity he's had. Uh, since uh, since we've seen him going back to spring training, the action on secondary pitches were also pretty good. Uh, you know, there's one really good slider in there. There's he threw a couple change ups to Harper. Uh, you know, he threw strikes, which was uh, very encouraging after the long layoff. So that was that was good to see from Jordan. And also with your pitching background, what did you see with Aaron Nola and how he was pitching? against you guys you know a great uh, great feel for the ball uh, again a strike thrower uh, with you know multiple uh, multiple multiple pitches uh, you know he shapes that breaking ball a little different I think the fastball command is something that I think is you know probably of his strength he can get the ball to both sides of the plate he's got natural he's got the natural gift of, uh, of the riding fastball uh, you know to uh, to both sides you know, it's got movement. Uh, he can nip the corner uh, to a left-handed hitter and start bringing that ball back to the inside corner. Uh, he can run it away from the lefty with, uh, you know, pretty good ride to it. Uh, he can jam a righty uh, with the ball coming in on their hands. Uh, he can throw the fastball away to a righty and nip the outside corner. So I think the fastball command and, and, and the natural movement are, are gifts, uh, and he's able, to, he's able to command that. Uh, it's a little bit of a lower arm slot as well, uh, so there's deception there. Uh, you know, it stays on plane and guys have a, you know, overall a hard time, you know, squirting that fastball up a lot. So, again, changeup was uh, in play a little bit, got some outs there, breaking the ball, you know, Mac took advantage of, uh, you know, an off-speed pitch for the homer. But we battled it, you know, we, we stretched in the first couple of innings, got the pitch count out, uh, and he sort of settled in the next three. And then, uh, you know, we got him late, but uh, he's a good pitcher. Hey, he's an all-star.